The standard way to edit clips is to use what are called cut edits. Whether you're working in Photoshop or a regular standalone video editor, you just do this cut where you go from one scene to the next with no gradual transition. But sometimes those edits can be visually jarring, so that's when you use a video transition. And in Photoshop, you've got the fades and a crossfade. But those edits can also be orally jarring. The sound can be so obviously different from one scene to the next that you want it to be gradual. In those cases, if you use a regular video editing product, you would use an audio transition. But Photoshop does not offer audio transitions. This is not really intended to be a professional level video editing product. It's just a way for you to get your videos out in front of the public in kind of a basic way. But if you want to take a few extra steps, I can show you a way to manually create audio transitions that will lead to having better quality videos. So if you want to follow along, go to Working Files, go to Photoshop PSD Files, and open up 0404 Crossfades. We have five clips here. You've seen these before. This is kind of a continuation of the previous exercise, although I've made some changes here. I want to show you what it sounds like to go from one scene to the next. So I've got the music muted, and I've got the narration muted. Let's just move this over a little bit here. All right, let's just play this. That's an abrupt audio edit and will be jarring to your viewers. And you probably don't want to have that happen, particularly when you're working with nature shots like this. So there's an easy way to fix this if you don't mind putting in a crossfade video transition. If you don't want to have a transition, it becomes a little bit more difficult. But let me show you the easy way to do this with a crossfade transition. So the first order of business is to apply a crossfade transition. Let me go over here, click on this. We'll apply the crossfade, not a fade, not one of these four fades, but a crossfade, because the crossfade overlaps the clips. You want the end of the clip to the left and the beginning of the clip to the right to overlap each other so you can have the audio overlap as well. So I'm going to take this down and put that between the two of them to make sure they overlap. There you go. Now we've created a crossfade. It's one second long, which is the default duration. I'll click away there just to accept that. And now you get a video crossfade, but you won't get an audio crossfade over that one second junction here. So it blends together and actually amplifies. But now what we're going to do is we're going to fade both clips. We're going to fade the clip to the left out and fade the clip to the right in. And that'll create a nice little audio transition. So I'll click this little fly out there to get to the audio side of this menu. I'm going to have a fade out of one second. I could drag across and approximate it, or I can just type exactly one second here. Just one, because we know it's exactly one second. I'll click on the one on the right here and do the same thing and have a fade in on that one of one second exactly. So we go up to the audio and fade in for a second. One second like that, all right? Now we should play this back and it should be reasonably smooth. We are playing off the hard drive here inside Photoshop, so it may not be perfectly smooth, but we'll try it here and see what it sounds like. worked out perfectly. See how that gradually went from one to the next, not at all abrupt as it was before, a very smooth audio transition. That's something you can do if you put a crossfade in. The crossfade automatically overlaps the clips physically. It doesn't do a crossfade automatically with audio, but it's fairly easy to just do a fade out on the clip to the left and a fade in on the clip to the right. I'm going to undo that because I want to show you something else a little bit later. So I'm going to click on this little guy here, that little transition there, by zooming in on it just a bit so I can get a hold of it, like so, clicking on it. I'm going to delete it like that. So we'll go back to the previous circumstance. All right, I want to show you how to do something a little bit more manually. I'm going to work on this music track here. When we have music in a narration like this, I'd like the music to dip when the narration begins. So the music can be loud at the beginning and then dip down to the narration and then come back up when the narration stops. So and these little breaks between the narration, the music can come back up and then go back down, back up, back down, that kind of a thing. So how do you do that? Well, you add another track with that exact same thing inside it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another audio track like this, new audio track. I want to put this same clip inside there. Now, there's no option here to duplicate it. I can't go edit, copy. It doesn't show up as an available command. So I'm going to import another clip by going over here. I'm going to add audio and bring in that audio file again, music one. I want to make it the same length, so I'm going to go over here and drag it in, like so. I want this one here to be the quiet one, and this one here to be the loud one. So this one has a volume set to 30%. There's a fade in and a fade out, which is fine. I'm going to set this one down to about 10 or so. Change this to 10%, so it'll be the quiet one, like that. I can fade it in and fade it out as well, but that probably won't be a factor, since we'll probably use the louder one to fade in and fade out, but we'll just do that just to have it as a backup there. Now we have these two audio tracks here. I want to fade them up and fade them down. So what I want to do is I'm going to take each clip here. I'm going to cut them where they should change. 
and then have them gradually change from one to the next. So for example, this one here, by the time it gets to the narration, which starts right about there, let's see. So right there is where the narration starts. So by that point, I want this clip to be quiet. So I'm gonna go and trim it, I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna click on it to make it active and use this little scissor tool here, this split tool, and I'm gonna cut that track right there. And I'm gonna go down here to the one down below. I want it to come in a little bit before. I want it to start coming up. I want it to start increasing in volume right here. So I select it and I trim it or cut it. So now this one I want to have come up in volume. This one I want to go down. When this one comes up, I want to mute this one here and have this one play for a while. And when it's done playing quieter, have this one come back in. So I'm going to go over here where the narration ends right there. I want to bring it back up. So I'm going to cut it. I'll split it there, make it active. Click on the split tool like that. I want to gradually fade this one out here down the bottom. So I'm going to take it about the same spot or so. I have it fade out under the other one. So I'm going to go a little bit farther like that. And have it fade out while this guy fades up. So I'll split this one on the bottom by selecting it, clicking on it. Okay, so we've got this thing set up to do this one edit here, although it actually wouldn't end up being two edits because it's on two sides of this narration. I'm going to have this one turned on and this one turned off. I'm going to mute this one. And when this one starts, I want it to be muted. But this one not to be muted over here. Then this one here will be muted. So I go over here to click that one. So we're doing this little kind of gradual change from one to the next here. So it's going to start out that this is going to be at full volume on top, and this one will be silent. Then it's going to go to the one that's quieter and go back to the one that's louder. Here's a sampling of some video clips from the Digital Juice Stock Footage HD library. They take us from a lovely waterfall. So you can see how the audio changed there. The little waterfall appears kind of loud, so I'm going to take care of that right now so we don't have to deal with that over and over again. Let me knock that one down farther here to that level right there. Now what I want to do now is go back to this music now. There were abrupt changes, but we can make them smoother. So I'm going to click on this one and have it fade out for a second or so. It's not an exact science here. I have this one fade in about a second or so. And then I'm going to have this one also fade out when it's done too. So I'll click on that and fade it out for about a second. This one here is muted, so we don't need to worry about fading it in or out. But this next one, we want to fade in maybe about a second or so. Now let's see how this thing sounds from the very beginning. Here's a sampling of some video clips from the Digital Juice Stock Footage HD library. They take us from a lovely waterfall. So you see how the audio dipped, but dipped gradually, and then climbed back up at the end of that little narration segment. That's how you can take music, for example, and then bring it down in volume for a little while and then bring it back up. You can't do that within a track, but you can duplicate the clip like this and split it in various places and cause the music to fade up and fade down. It's a little complicated, but once you see the process, you'll be able to do it pretty quickly from that point forward. I want to show you one more thing, and this one I'm just going to just set up for you just to give you a sense of how that works, and you can decide whether you want to pursue this or not, because it's pretty complicated. What I want to do is have audio go from one scene to the next here. I'll turn off the music now have it gradually go from one scene to the next without using a crossfade. See, right now they just dip down and dip back up, but I'd rather have them just go straight through so you can hear both of them together instead of having it dip to silence and then coming up from silence. So I'm going to put these guys back to their default. No fade in or fade out on that one. And this one here will do the same thing. No fade in or fade out just to make sure they're set up the way we want them to be set up. So it'll be an obvious jump there from one to the next. And what you can do to avoid that jump is you can overlap their audio segments, which is not something you can separate out. It's kind of unfortunate, but you can't take the audio out of these things and have them on separate tracks. They're built into these things. So the way you deal with this, if you want to go to this level of editing where you actually control the audio inside video clips, which is kind of tricky, is that you duplicate these clips twice. Take this group here and you alter option drag to duplicate it once. You can close it down to make it a little bit easier to deal with. Alter option drag twice. So what you do is you take this top one here and mute all of them. Then what you do is you mute every other clip here on every other track. So you might mute that one, then that one, then that one, that one, that one. And have the other clips on like so. Then you need to work out some way to overlap one or both of them. And it's a little bit tricky because when you overlap clips, they slide around a lot. So it's not a very effective thing to do and it can be very tedious. And you do have to have enough head and tail frames to be able to pull that off. 
let me just give you a brief take on this just to sort of set you up and then you can decide whether you want to go through all this trouble just to have gradual audio changes. If I set all these to mute, first of all, so I'm just going to set a couple of them to mute. So we have to do all of them, just a couple to show how that works like that. Now I want to have this one on. So I want it to be on for sure. It's not muted. Make sure it's on. Then I take this one here and I mute it. There we go. So we're going to go from audio here to no audio there, but then there'll be audio down here. So I open up that one, make sure it's not muted. There we go. I'll make sure this first one down here is muted. There you go. So this one will be on, then that one will be on, and then we'll go on down the line like that back and forth. And it still has that abrupt edit. So what I need to do now is get the left side of that second clip under the first clip that's above it. And to do that, I can just take the first clip on the third track down and trim it from its right side. And that causes the second clip to slide over. So now there's an overlap. Of course, that creates a little bit of a problem at the other end because you run out of tail frames before you get to the end of the clip on top. So you need to have some margin of error there. You need to have some head and tail frames that you can then extend to make sure that they go for the full length. Nevertheless, we have now created this little overlap, and let's just see how that works. So you can hear the audio together there. The trouble is it's going to run out after a while here, so you need to make sure you have enough head and tail frames to be able to extend it for the full length of the clip above there. So that is a little bit of a caveat. Nevertheless, we'll take this one here. We'll go to the audio side. We'll fade it out for about a second or so. Okay, and we'll take this clip down here, and we'll fade it up for about a second or so. Fade it in, as they say. And now we'll see how that sounds, this little cross fade here that we just built manually down here from all these various tracks. There you go, nice gradual change from one scene to the next. But the caveat is that you have to have trimmed these clips in some way so you have enough head and tail frames to have them overlap down here on these two tracks. Remember to mute all of these guys and have one on here, one on down here like that back and forth that lets you do these little audio crossfades. It's definitely tedious, it's definitely extra work, but it will make your videos sound a whole lot better.